what's good family we back with another banger uh this video was a video we kind of came up with on the spot as we as we were doing our you know our longer pod episode we were talking about damian lillard and we were like man he got to get out of here man and my boy t came up with the great idea of a dame destinations video so that's exactly what we're doing uh but before we get into it my boy t how you doing i'm doing great man doing great um once again, another year where we're saying Damian Lillard stop being loyal and leave this team. Um, you're Man. wasting. I feel like Lillard is going to be one of those players that was just known as a very, very good player, but has no accolades to back it up, has nothing to back nothing up. And it's so unfortunate because there was a point in time where they're like, yo, he might be better than Curry shooting wise. Like, literally, I remember that time. They're actually having a conversation about that. So it's just so frustrating to see this. But hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it, man. You said it, T. Uh, honestly, you you said it exactly. And I actually was just talking about this with one of my friends the other day. I was saying, man, Damian Lillard really wasted away and rotted away his career and rotted away his prime just off trying to be loyal. And And, and, and look, man. Like, I get it. You know, I get it. Some people are more down, like maybe I wouldn't, maybe the down to earth isn't the right, the right term I'm looking for, but you know, they, they really stick on loyalty. Loyalty is big to them, right? Like they, you know, but blood over water and all this and all that. Right. But the thing is, man, you got to remember and, 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 it, and I think LeBron exemplifies this great, right? Because a lot of people hate on LeBron for, you know, when he left that first Cavs team, they're like, oh, he quit on his team, quit on his team. But we need to understand that these organizations are never loyal. These organizations are never loyal to the players. And they will be so quick. The second you're not helping them win or bringing them the money that they need, they are so quick to let you go, trade you, cut you, whatever it is, right? And, the, you know, I would, I would say the older generations, the OGs got this mindset. It's like, oh, no, you got to be loyal to your organization. But that's not the case because if they're not putting you in a position to win, if they're not putting you in a position to advance your career, why are you going to stay loyal to that team? Why, like, why would you do that? Because years down the line, when, when it's all said and done, when the, when the people aren't just looking at the numbers and the people who weren't watching the game, so 50 years down the line, when some of these kids who didn't get to watch Dane, when all they're going to look at is what? Zero championships. And you know what he's going he's gonna to be like? He's going to be like a Reggie Miller, right? I'm not going to lie. Reggie Miller is a great player, but... Bro, I'm, tw I'm, I'm 24. I didn't get to watch much of Reggie Miller. To be real with you, I didn't get to watch much of Reggie Miller. So when I look back to the Hardwood Classics, yeah, I know, the, I know the crazy things he do and, and, you know, he's a great shooter and all this and all that. But at the end of the day, bro, when I'm putting together winners, he can't be on there. Why? Because he stayed on one. He stayed, stayed to that team, tried to be the loyal guy. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen to Dame, man, because he's been a killer. He's been a monster since his rookie year. Been averaging 20 point plus every single year. Every single year, he's multiple time all star. But what is he going to have to show from that 25, 26 years down the line? Nothing. And I think that's all no one's fault but Dames. Yeah, 100%. 100%. He knows. Let's be honest, John. He's been on this team. He's been on this team, John, since 2012. Right? We're in the 2022 2023 season. My math isn't great. I think that's about, what, 10, 11 years, at least around there, somewhere around there, right? You know what he has to show? One Western Conference Finals appearance in 2019-2020 against the Golden State Warriors. And I know you remember that series. They got swept. Ooh. It was a complete blowout. They looked terrible. That's all he has to show for, for being loyal to this Trailblazers team, all right? I know a lot of people love to come at KD for being a snake and slime, da da da, da. At the end of the day, he did what's best for him, may not be best to the fans, but he did what's best for him in his career. And now he has championships. And so when 50 years later, they're going to be like, oh, he joined Golden State. Yeah, they might bring it up, but he's still going to be a Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer. And he still has a resume to back it up. All Dame has in this right now is he's an elite scorer and he can shoot from half court. That's not going to do it. Is that even going to bring you in the Hall of Fame? Highly doubt it. And so that, it, that's a question for Dame. Not only you're, you're affecting, He's affecting his whole career, to be honest with you, because for a talented superstar point guard. But also, I do want to say this, John, right? The last two seasons, Lillard has been hurt. Lillard's not an injury-prone player. We can just go throughout the seasons. 2012, 2013, 2014, he played 80, all 82 games, right? 
Through 2015 to 17, he played about 75, 75, 73. That's still excellent, right? 2018, he played 80. Still excellent, right? He's mainly playing all the games, right? 2019, 2020, it gets a little bit low, but it's still high 67, 66. You can deal with that sometimes, right? But now the last two seasons, John, he played 29 games in 2021 because he was hurt. And this year, once again, has been hurt twice. You know why he's getting hurt? Because he's aging. He is 32 years old. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Not Same everybody. Time is ticking. Yeah, literally the clock, right? Not everybody's a LeBron James. Not everybody's him. So, Dane, you got to think about it. This year, you came in with a high expectation, high expectations once again because you pick up Grant and then you you sign players like Gary Payton and you know Simon just breaking out and stuff like that. We're midway through the year and you're not even in the plan. So you have to start rethinking your decisions of being on this trash team because, yo, John, if you want to talk about the stats that he has done recently, literally his last game just put up 60 points, 60 points against a Utah Jazz team, right? They only won by 10 points. You expect Dame Lillard to put up 60 points and they're blowing out a team. There's a game where he put up 50 points against the Cavaliers and lost. You get him trying to say, this is frustrating. If I'm putting up 50 plus points and I'm losing, then clearly the team ain't doing their job. Clearly the team's not doing their job, okay? So enough of all that. John, you pick your top three destinations, and then I'm going to pick my top three destinations. I just want to get that background information out there so if Dan ever sees this video, we're just preaching facts to you, bro. I think you're very talented, bro, but you're messing, you're affecting your whole career. Yeah, that's I, I couldn't have said it any better. So, Dame, if you haven't, Pick the team. Me and Trent are going to give you our top three teams that you need to go to uh, because it'll work out. And I think it'll also work out, you know, both ways, not only for the Blazers and Dan, and not only for the Blazers, but also, you know, for the other team and Dame. So let me go ahead and kick it off uh, with my first team. And I mean, we talked about this in the past before the Clippers, man. I mean, if, if I could just take him out of Portland and place him on the Clippers, not only would that make the Clippers so dang scary, even more scary than they already are. They, they, they'd become better on paper. They'd become better on court. They would, they would really fix all of their issues. Uh, a lot of the times, you know, when I see the, when I see the Clippers play, I feel like I'm, mi I'm, they're missing that point guard. They're missing that playmaker, you know, to set up PG, to set up, to, to set up Kawhi, you know, run, run the offense. But also if PG and Kawhi need that break, you can you can still have a, a score on the court, you know, that will that will keep the pressure on him. And I mean, you, you could I know Kawhi, you know, Kawhi as of late, he's been stepping up, but you can you could look at Kawhi as a number one option. You can look at PG as a number one option. And if they get Dame, you can look at Dame as a number one option right there. So that's a big three in in and of itself. Uh it would help, it would give Dame the I think out of all these teams that I have listed here, it would give him the biggest chance to win a championship. And I think it would just it would just simply make the most sense uh, because the, the the Clippers also have, you know, some good some some good young talent. And they have some picks so that, you know, if the Blazers uh, want to get away from the purgatory land and go towards rebuilding, they could do that as well. So that, that's my first team. Yeah, I think Dame will be the number one option if he joins the Clippers easily. He becomes number one option. Yeah. OK. All right. All right. Bet you want me to you want to run off all three or you want to yeah, run off all three. three. All okay. right. Next team right here, I think this would just make so much sense, too, is the Dallas Mavericks, man. I mean, I talk about this all the time. I talk about how the Dallas Mavericks lean almost 100% on Luka Doncic, man. Leads, leads the team in rebounding, scoring, uh, steals, and points. Of course, uh, he's just – he's Himothy. He's, he's, he's that guy on the team. And when he's not there, I've talked about this on the past before, too, they struggle to score. I know that Spencer Dinwiddie did have that big game. Uh, I know that, you know, Dorian Finney-Smith sometimes could go off and you know, some of these other players could go off. But at the end of the day, that's not sustainable, man. And it's just, it, it's, 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 not, it's not right for Luka for the team to just simply just lean on him and really not, not give him any breaks. I mean, bro, Luka Doncic right now is out with his day-to-day -day ankle injury. If he misses like 10 to 11 games, like how he's missed the last couple of years because of his ankle injuries, the, the, the Mavs are in danger of falling out of the playing situation. Now, add Damon Lillard in a situation like that. Or, you know, maybe if you want, don't, don't let go of Jalen Brunson, and this wouldn't be an issue, but whatever, right? Add Damon Lillard in that situation. You're not worried about that. Luka, 
take the time you need to get better because we got to score. We got somebody else who can put the ball in the put the ball in the bucket and go get go get us some and not only be able to do that, but run the offense. But and when he gets doubled, make the right pass, be a willing passer, be a willing team player. So the Dallas Mavericks got to be my number two team. And number three, man, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know. I didn't know we were going to do three. I didn't know we were going to do three. So I, I, I had a couple more. So I got to decide between, um, between four teams here. And ultimately, I think I'm going to have to go with the Bulls, man. I'm going to have to go with the Bulls because the Bulls have been struggling. I, and I think a lot of it is because of coaching issue. I don't think Billy Donovan is the answer for, for the Bulls. But if you, you know, if you insist on going with Billy Donovan and you insist on him, him being the coach, all right, let's do something to get a real point guard in there because DeMar, he's more of an off-ball player. Zach, he's more of an off-ball player. They can do something when they have the ball, but it's more of just like, yo, ISO, and watch out, watch out, watch out. Let me get to it. Dame, he can set them up, man. He could get he he could get DeMar so many easy buckets to where he don't got to work as much. Same thing with Zach Levine. Zach, he could set up Zach Levine to where Zach Levine doesn't have to break down the defender every time and get to the hoop or hit a step back. Dame can be that facilitating point guard and can also be another scoring guard for them, uh, be big help for Lonzo Ball. I mean, Lonzo Ball has been struggling to come back, and this right here would be able to inch Lonzo back in. Because let's be real, man, the second Lonzo comes back to this Bulls team, they're going to be expecting Lonzo at 100%. Because they need Lonzo at 100%. They need him to run the offense. They need him to be that, de- that, that defensive guard. What can Dame do? Dame can run the offense. He can buy, provide even more scoring than Lonzo and be that pit bull de- defensive guard, man. So. Those are my top three teams, the Clippers, the Mavs, and the, uh, the Bulls. Yeah, going to Billy Donovan, just say this, John. He had uh, Russ. He had a bunch of superstars on his team and couldn't even get it to the finals. So that's all I got to say about Billy Donovan. Don't think he was ever a great coach. I don't think he could coach superstar players, and that's what it is. But for my top three, top three teams, one, I'm going to start off with the Pelicans. Now, the Pelicans honestly make – if you get a Dane Lillard teaming up with Zion and Brandon Ingram, that's exciting. I think, honestly, they're the best in the West off rip. Um, the Pelicans right now are in a position where they can, afford, they can afford to do this because, one, I brought this up yesterday, they have the capital and they have the young players. That's all, that's all teams want. If you're going to trade a superstar player away, what they want? They want picks and, and, and young players and maybe a, a veteran player just to make the salary work. They have all that, literally all that, right? And so, personally, sounds messed up. I don't think you trade B.I. I don't think you trade uh, um, Zion. So it kind of leaves out. I don't think it makes sense. You're going to have to throw a C.J. in there. It don't really make too, too much sense for Portland's end, but we don't care about that, right? So you're going to have to throw in C.J. for the money, but you could throw in if you really want to go all in for it, right? You could throw either a Trey Murphy or Herb Jones or a Jose, right? You could throw either one. Now you're, you're losing a lot of depth, but at the end of the day, you're getting a superstar point guard to team up with a – uh, star forward in Zion, you could call him a superstar when he's healthy, and Brandon Ingram. Now you have the big three. Fortunately, you did lose um, some depths, depending how much players you give up, but that's what you do with the capital. The capital is not to continue to drive people and then wait for them to develop. When you're already in the position to you're already a good team, then capital is just to trade for a star. That's it. Re- building team, then you wait for them to develop. But having Dame, Zion, and Brandon Ingram, honestly, We've seen what they did last year with the roster they already had constructed. They, they, they battled with the Phoenix Suns. They battled with them. And I think the Phoenix Suns, um, the main reason why they got bounced out to Dallas and Luka is because of the Pelicans. They gave them all that work. So, I honestly think that would be pretty cool to watch. And I want to say this. I don't think Dame joins any other team, but a team that he, know, a team he knows that he's going to win a championship or has the pieces to win a championship. And I think Pelicans have the team to win championships and has a good head coach in Willie Green. And we all know Dame Lillard is big on coaching because he's the reason why Chauncey Billups went to Portland. So I think he and Willie Green will have a good relationship. Number two, I'm going to go with the Miami Heat. Um, I think the Miami Heat need another star in town. I think Bam Adebayo is officially his team. Jimmy Butler, he just does whatever during the regular season. You know, sometimes he shows up, sometimes he doesn't. It is what it is with Jimmy Jimmy's dealing with a lot of injuries this year. Very concerning to me. He has a knee injury that been on and off. John, I don't know if you know this. He was warming up and hurt his back. You know what that tells me? He's getting older. You know, if you're warming up and then you're hurting your back and now you can't play, that's just signs of getting old. So I understand the Heat want to build off Tyler Harrow and Bam Adebayo, but 
I don't think Tyler Hero can win you a championship. He's too inconsistent for me. And yes, he has some big games, but I'd rather have Dame. Dame and Bam, that's something to watch out for. Not only that, you have the godfather of Pat Riley, which we all know is great at convincing, can has all the the, the putting in the whatever. He has all this, he won championships. So Dame's gonna realize I'm in Miami, a good living situation. I have a team that I can win championship with. I have a great head, a good head coach. You know, Eric's supposed to be a good head coach this year. I think he'd been mediocre, but overall has been a good head coach. And then you uh fought, uh forgot his name, Pat Riley. They all it's all who wouldn't want to be in Miami? It's like it's like LA. Who wouldn't want to be in LA? You know what I'm saying? So that's another good destination. And also it's his team. So it's not like he's he's joining another um team that has like for this sake, it's not like he's like being a KD and like. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So I think Miami will be a good destination. And then um, number three, this one was tough for me, all right? Because it's like I'm doing elimination, process elimination, right? He ain't going to Rockets, obviously. Spurs, Trailblazers, obviously he's already on the team. He's not going to Thunder Jazz. Timberwolves, no, I don't see it. You said Dallas and Clippers, so I don't even want to talk about them. But, John, let's just make it fun. What if you went to L.A.? Ooh, boy. <laughs> What if he went to the Lakers? That solves a lot of the problems, man. That um, solves a lot of the problems. The Lakers have the problems that they have of scoring drought when LeBron's off the court. The problems of no shooters everything. on the team. That everything. really solves everything. To be honest with you, and you know what's funny? L.A. is a team that you can be like, we can, we can lure stars over here. We, 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 this is L.A. Even though like the last few years, Jeannie and Rob been sleeping, but at the end of the day, we already kind of know what the Lakers are about. And that's why fans are so how they are right now, because this organization is about winning, 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 stars, stars, stars. LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Will, Magic. You can continue to list, 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 list them. Bunch of legends over here who want to want to play for L.A. So those are my three teams, Lakers, Pelicans, and the Miami Heat. Y'all guys, let, let us let us know in the comment sections of what team you would suggest Dame Lillard to go to, but I tell you this, even the Chicago Bulls, how bad they are, I still think it's a better option than playing on that bum Portland Trailblazers team. I think anything at this point is better than yeah. the Portland Trailblazers because they have washed this man's career away, and um, all you can do is just pray for Dame. So literally, <laughs> just pray for Dame, you, man. You know what's crazy? Dame could join the Utah Jazz, and they're a better team than Portland. Anything, anything, really, realistically, anything, man, because. I mean, what what have they done with his career? Like honestly, like I, no no joke. I would, you know how Ben Simmons tried to sue the 76ers for like the the, the yeah. grievance. He like tried to file. I, if I was Dame, I would, I would sue the Portland Trailblazers for a grievance. So I'd be like, Wasting boy, you wasted career. like 10, 20, 10, 12 years of my life doing nothing. Literally was drafted over there, man. So that's yeah, crazy, man. Well, hey man, Dame, I hope you see this video. I hope you realize what the truth is. Um, we appreciate the loyalty, but it's not going to get you championships, man. You I'm going to say this. Remember. I'm going to say I'm going to say this before I leave. People that are nice always get backstabbed. People that have loyalty to people always get backstabbed. So this loyalty is cool and all. I want to be loyal. I want to win here because I was drafted. Da, da, da. Doesn't exist no more. Unless, unless it, it just doesn't listen. Unless you're LeBron. And even when he got drafted, he didn't win. He had to go back. He had to go back there to win it. So you I, loyalty is dead. I'm sorry, especially in this generation, John. Loyalty is dead. Loyalty is dead. Loyalty is dead, my boy. Um, but all right, my boy. Uh, I think it's a great, 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 quick episode. You know what I'm saying? Dame destinations. Like how my boy T said, let us know in the comment section down below what's your favorite Dame destination. Uh, what's somewhere that you know you think will work out both sides? Um, but if that's it from us, then we out of here, y'all. Peace.